Hello everyone. I thought we'd do a couple of pages in my new Daphne's Diary journal today. I've had a quick flick through the magazine and I know where I want to start. I just absolutely love um, this illustration here. Um, I did something similar in one of my previous journals with a giraffe image. Now this is really fun because it's a bit of a puzzle for you to solve. Millie is going to visit her sister Irma. Do you know where she lives? And you follow all of these clues here until you end up with where her sister lives and I think it's in this house here. So what I'm going to do, um, in fact actually I've reduced this in size because this is just too big to go into into my journal. Um, you can see that I'd have to chop off Millie's legs. So I've reduced it in size. Where has it gone? by 70% and I'm just going to fussy cut um, this house out here and Millie herself fussy cut my images out. Um, I just think these are adorable. Um, just love the black and white with a pop of colour. I just think it looks so effective. I've left a white border. I don't know whether you can see here just to make it quicker and easy for me, easier for me to fussy cut. We've got Irma's house and I decided to cut out the one that was next to it as well on the left hand side of the page and so let's see if we can find um, a spot for these to go. This might be the perfect spot in my journal. If I add the houses, let's have a look here, then this looks as if it's a tree lined street so let's bring in Millie. I just love that pop of uh, colour. Now I don't know whether to have it right at the bottom of the page or higher up, I think like this and then I can maybe add some shading to try and ground ground things. So I think I'm going to go ahead and add that to my page. I'm just going to use a glue stick to glue these down and I won't be colouring the images in, I just like it in black and white exactly as it is. It be a little bit tricky, I think I'll have to glue the middle one down first. So let's just add some glue here and then decide where this needs to go. I'm just using um, deli paper just to catch the excess glue. Slide this um, underneath and how do we want this? Let's move that one out of the, the way. About here, I think. And then I'm just going to glue the other two pieces down on top as well. Just love that. So I'm just going to take this out of the journal because what I do want to do, let's grab a piece of uh, paper. I'm going to use a Stabilo All Pencil now just to add some um, shading. I'm just going to go really lightly with this just on the ground area here and then I'm just going to activate this with some water just to give the illusion of some um, grounding. Here we go. I think that's perfect. I also cut out the title of the page. Millie is going to visit her sister Irma which I thought would uh, tie in the pink as well and just add another t uh, pop of colour at the top of my page. And then I found some Tim Holtz words. Um, one was from Small Talk and one was from the Chit Chat um, booklet. Whoops, I've dropped it. Um, Millie is going to visit her sister Irma. I'm happiest when I'm with with family and I'll have a play around with these and that will just finish off my page. I have these illustrations lying around on my desk. Um, these were some doodle drawings I did several years ago and I photocopied this page here a couple of weeks ago for um, a folk art style painting that I did using some Artex products and I fussy cut this little heart out. Let me just show you um, this one here, I've cut away the stem and I just think it goes really well with the black and white illustrations, just fills that space as well. So I'm going to stick that down and that's my page done. I'm so happy with that. And as I've said to you many times before, I think the first page in any journal is always the hardest because you want to get off to a good start. Um, you don't want to screw things up and you want to try and sort of feel inspired to create more pages going forward as well. So what shall we do next? My 
next page. Let's just pop that out of the way. I want to do something with Odette's beautiful illustrations. I just think these are gorgeous. Um, what I will do to start off with, in fact, I'm going to use a knife um, just because I don't want to destroy these. So destroy any of my other pages. I'm just going to run a knife down here just so that I can use as much of this as possible and then I'll cut this one out as well we're not going to be able to fit um, all of it on but um, but we'll see what we can we can do let's get rid of the magazine so bring my journal back and I thought that it'd be really nice to have this on this central page spread here. I think the purples in this house go really well with that background, although I do feel as if I need to tone this down. It's not all going to, to fit on. How much do I think I'll be able to, to use? I think I might forgo the tree and fussy cut round um, this part here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and also fussy cut um, around this image here as well. And we'll see where we go from there. I've got, and I want my main images to go on the page, something like this. I think I want to reinforce my center as well. I'll do that um, in a second. Just decide how I want this to go. Maybe that can go all the way over over to the edge and then that will over overlap and then I feel as if I need something to just slot in in here we've got this Christmas tree I think that would fit nicely or maybe even perhaps we could we could use this yeah I think that will look better so I think I'm going to fussy cut this as well I think I have a plan so my houses will overlap like so. I've got this half a tree, so I think I'm going to put this one on here in between both of the houses, scooch that over a little bit, and then have this over here like that. So that's going to be my layout. But I just feel that the background is just a little bit busy, so I want to do something about that first. Let's tone down this busy background. Um, I've got some white gesso in a pot here and a pot of water as well. I just want to thin it down just, just a tad. I haven't used this for a while, so it might be a little bit too thick. Let's add a bit of water and I'm just going to willy-nilly just slap this on all over the background. Now you'll still see all those lovely colours um, underneath. What have I got on the back? I want to try not to get too much on the back as well but it would just tone everything down so that it's just a little bit less less busy. So I'm just going to go ahead and do this. You could do um, use watered down white paint, acrylic paint if you wanted to. Um, gesso is very flat matte and also dries incredibly quickly. I don't need to go all the way down because of course my image will cover up the bottom part and I don't mind seeing some of that um, texture in my background as well. I can always sort of like dab it on like this. I don't want to press too hard in case I rock my camera but yeah that will do fine. That's pretty much dry but still has a bit of dampness to it and I'm just going to weight this down underneath a heavy book just to flatten out my page. It's dry and you can see from the bottom of the page the difference to the top so I'm happy that that's toned, toned down how I want it. Now I'm going to use some more gesso. I'm going to use a stencil as well to give me the illusion of snow but I do want to mix it with a little bit of blue as well. Let me just grab myself a palette knife. So let's put some of this just on a on a plate. That should be enough. I don't want too much. Um, I'm going to use some peacock feathers, distress ink, um, re-inker. You could use a bit of blue acrylic paint. Use whatever you have. And, you know, you could use your spray paints, anything really. And let's hope that I haven't made this too dark. No, that's about the right kind of shade. I want this to be really, really subtle. So I'm just going to mix this all, all in. And then I've just got a sponge. And how do I want to do this? I want some hanging off the edge of the, the page. I'm just going to dip this in, not too much paint. And I'm just going to dab it all over my background. And hopefully we'll get some nice texture from, from this and a really subtle sort of snowy blue and then I'm just going to keep moving you see it is it's really subtle I don't know whether you can um, see that that's exactly the look I'm going for and I'm just going to keep moving my stencil 
until I've got the whole of the top area of my page covered. This is what my scene is going to look like. I lost the piece that um, I had for the um, end here, but I found another tree that I can use. I might have that just a little bit higher up. So it's going to go something like that. So I'm just going to go off now and glue this down. The page is so whimsical and pretty. I have got a bit of warping on my paper. It's not too bad and it might get better as it dries out. I have weighted it down, um, but it's fine for the time being. And then I've decided that um, I want to do something with this page here. Let's see if I can tear this out. I'm going to cut out, let me just show you these colours here, the um, diamond shapes um, in these colours. So I'm just going to go off and do that and I've got a an idea as to how we can use those. I've cut five of these out and I think that will be enough. And what I'm going to do next is cut these in half and I'm going to use this as bunting for the top of my page. So we'll see how many I'm going to going to need. About something like this. I only needed four of them um, in the end. So I'll pop those to one side and perhaps we can use those for another project. But I think I'm going to glue that down. And then I'm thinking of maybe adding some twine um, across the, the top of it as well. I don't know yet. We'll see. That might be a bit too bulky. I think I might eventually add some kind of quote to the background as well. But nothing is coming to mind at the moment. I've had a flick through the magazine. Scene. So I'm just going to leave it be, but let me just um, tilt this and hope that you can um, see the texture on that beautiful page. I love that. Now, of course, it's Valentine's Day next week. Um, I think this will probably go live on Sunday, which I do believe is the 11th. It might be the 12th. I'm not sure. But I've got to do something with this page um, before Valentine's is over. Have I got my knife um, still at the ready? Let me just take this page out and let's see if we can do something with, with this. Too beautiful not to use. Now I'm thinking that I'm going to cut out um, this poem and see what we've got left behind in terms of the background. Um, I think I'll use a cutting mat to do that. So let me just move my journal out of the way. Have I got um, a metal rule here on hand? Here we go. And let's use my my cutting knife and I'm just going to cut carefully cut this out cut my poem out and this is what I'm left with I think this background is just absolutely beautiful I've decided that I want to try and glue it to this page here let's take this out of the um, journal now I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know whether I want to um, centralise the background here or take advantage of, of this part of it. I don't know. Um, of course, I need to find a way then of um, taking advantage of my poem as well. Do I want that central or maybe to the top? I think I want to glue this here like that. Now, you can see that I've made a couple of marks because I want to try and flip this over and how did I want to do it? Just make sure that I've got that central. So I'm just going to apply some glue. I'll make some marks. Where's my pencil gone? On the on the back here, just so that I know how high I need to apply my glue. So I'll have my glue over this part here and glue this down, and then we'll take it from there. My page glued down. I've got a feeling that I should have glued it onto this side here, but it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to turn this over now and just cut the excess away. You can probably tell that I glued my page a bit off kilter. It doesn't matter because I found this piece of paper here in one of the pages from the Daphne's Diary paper box. And I'm going to glue this on here and then nobody would be any the wiser. So I'm going to do that first. I'm quite happy with that. That's covered the space where I cut out the poem. Now, I don't want to use all of this. It's more of a love poem, but there are some lines that I would like to use, but uh, particularly this first paragraph. Joy and happiness await, hooray, another year. Opportunities abound and new beginnings here. Today is a fresh start and tomorrow too. Then there's the day after 
raft of full of fun things to do. So I think what I'm going to do is cut this out line by line and let's see if we can get this to fit on here in a cohesive Doesn't way. It looks so lovely and I love the fact as well that it's not centralised. It's um, a bit asymmetrical. Um, I'm going to play around with this. Um, I think I'll start off with the top and the bottom and then work my way up. So I'm just going to go off now and glue this down. Isn't that a gorgeous page? And if I lift it up, I don't know whether you can see, I've added some stitching to the three sides here. Um, of course, I could, could have used my sewing machine, but Toby's asleep in the other room and I didn't want to um, disturb him. So I've just done it by hand. I just used a drawing pen. Mine was the Marvi Uchida drawing pen in 0.1. So that's what I used to do that. I did glue it to the wrong side, but that's okay. So um, a happy accident, I think, because I've got a page at the beginning of the journal. Of course, I've got my double page spread and then this page here. So I think we're off to a really good start. Well, of course, last week I announced the winners of my giveaway and Sophie claimed her prize and that's gone off to Sophie. She had the magazine and the diary. I can't show you the diary because it's already been sent out in the post. But the second winner didn't claim their prize. So I've had to draw another winner. And the new winner for the magazine itself is Janet Dand 2704. I'll leave that um, on screen. So Janet, if you can contact me via email, you'll find my email address in the description box below. Then I will send this beautiful copy of the magazine off to you ASAP. So, you know, do get in touch. Just a quick reminder of the pages that we've done today. So this beautiful Valentine's page here, I love that. It's so pretty. Um, this one here and then this whimsical black and white um, Millie page here. I just love all of these. Let me know which one is your favourite. So that just leaves me to say, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Um, I'll be back soon with another Daphne's Diary glue book with me, junk journal with me, um, video, whatever you want to call it. But if you've enjoyed my video, as always, I'd very much appreciate a thumbs up. Do let me know what you think in the comments below. But most importantly, thanks for watching. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye for now.